thank the Democratic leader for his courtesy as always. In just the last three years, under Vladimir Putin, Russia has invaded Ukraine, annexed Crimea, threatened NATO allies, and intervened militarily in Syria, leaving a, tra a trail of death, destruction, and broken promises in his wake. And of course, last year, Russia attacked the foundations of American democracy with a cyber and information campaign to interfere in America's 2016 election. I am proud, I am proud of the two individuals who just spoke, the senator from Maryland and the senator from Tennessee. Both of them have worked in a bipartisan fashion and gotten legislation to this floor. Although it's long overdue, it is here, and I believe we will see an overwhelming vote. And I thank them for their bipartisanship. In the last eight months, what price has Russia paid for attacking American democracy? Very little. This legislation, legislation would begin to change it. The legislation would impose mandatory sanctions or transactions with the Russian defense or intelligence sectors, including the FSB and the GRU, the Russian military intelligence agency that was primarily responsible for Russia's attack on our election. I believe my colleagues know what's in this. It would codify ex existing sanctions on Russia by placing into law six executive orders signed by President Obama in response to both Russian interference in the 2016 elections and its illegal actions in Ukraine, and it would take new steps to tighten those sanctions. The legislation would target the Russian energy sector, which is controlled by Vladimir Putin's cronies, with sanctions on investment in Russian petroleum and natural gas development, as well as Russian energy pipelines. <clears throat> My friends, the United States of America needs to send a strong message to Vladimir Putin and any other aggressor that we will not <coughs> tolerate attacks on our democracy. That's what this bill is all about. We must take our own side in this fight, not as Republicans, not as Democrats, but as Americans. It's time to respond to Russia's attack on American democracy with strength, with resolve, with common purpose, and with action. I'm, I'm proud to have played a small role, but I'm most proud of the bipartisanship that URC manifested today on both sides of the aisle. We need a little more of it. Mr. President, I yield the floor.